They must be mine. All mine. A crossout video by Dangerously Incompetent. The Friends sticker appeared in Polar Light Season about a year ago. And it was on the reward track, you got two of them, and lots of people sold them off immediately for, for very little coin deed, about 10 cents. It rapidly went down to the minimum price, which is 10 cents. So I bought a few hundred as a speculative investment, figuring I'll just sit on them a few years, the price will go up, and I'll sell them. So, but then I thought, actually, I wonder how many I can get. So I carried on buying, and buying, and buying, and then I thought, Actually, this would, could be an indicator of how many people bought the Polar Light Season Battle Pass. Because there are two on the reward track, so oh, however many I can buy, divide that number by two, and at least that many people bought the Battle Pass. But then I realised, oh, there's no padlock on it. <laughs> it. It wasn't paywall behind the Battle Pass. Everybody got the friend sticker, and it's like on level 3 of the reward track, so practically everyone who tried doing Polar Light Season got the reward sticker, uh, friend sticker. But that's still worth knowing, how many people played Polar Lights. So I carried on buying. Now, with the Mind Hunt mini season, there's a new supply of friend stickers, and loads of them are coming into the game because <laughs> they're on the reward track, you get two of them, and they're not behind the paywall, you don't need the Battle Pass to buy the battle pass to get them. So that has put the kibosh on my plan to find out how many people played Polar Light Season with the new supply. Ha. Huh. But then I realised, aha, here is an opportunity. Because all the time I've been buying the friend sticker, I started out buying at 10 cents, but then I realised, well, if I ever want to sell them, uh, I want the price to go up. And then it's never going to go up if I keep buying at 10 cents. So I started buying at 11 cents, which is the most the price corridors allowed. Because I think they're still, yep, they're still at them. 10 to 11 cents. That was what it was stuck in the price corridor. Price locked low. Get price corridors gone. They're rubbish. Cause all sorts of problems. So. No matter how many I bought, and I got 3,000 of them at this stage, I bought 3,000 and the price cor the corridor hasn't shifted up because I'm only buying them in dribs and drabs and I'm not on, on cross out all the time. And in between, I think, people are trading them at 10. <laughs> it, it just takes one person to trade at 10 cents and it's dragged back down again. So it never goes up. It never goes up. Uh, but now, with loads of them coming into the game again, and of course, people just sell them. I don't, it seems inc incomprehensible to to me. <laughs> you get the sticker. Oh, let's sell it for ten cents. What? It's it's not worth the time selling for ten cents. Selling them for ten cents. If you're that desperate for coin that you need twenty cents by selling two of them for ten cents, just go flip common parts. <laughs> you can get that money easily. More money than that easily. Why don't you just sit on them for a couple of years and they'll go up to you know, five coin or something. People will buy a sticker for five coin and sell them then. But anyway, loads of what happens is loads of people are going to sell them for as little as they can. So I could buy them all and because there's a flood of them coming now, I can concentrate and buy lots in one day. And if I, I could... Um, you put loads of buy offers on, maybe, just maybe, I can stop people selling at 10 cents because they've got loads of offers on, and, and the, maybe, just maybe, the price will go up. I didn't do that before because I've only got 20 buy slots and there's uh, loads of other stuff I want to be buying, but I could concentrate on just one sticker for a couple of days. That'll work. I could do that. Looking back a bit further on the friend price history, you can see that happening. I offered to buy for 11 my offer is sold to, then someone offers to sell it for 10, they get traded and it goes down. And then I log back on and offer to buy one at 11, someone sells to it, and then someone offers to uh, sell buy for 10, and someone sells to it and it trades. And the price corridor never rises and the price never goes up. And it just goes on and on and on. Yesterday, however, I concentrated my efforts on buying the friend sticker. I logged in, I put 10 offers to buy, 
at the highest price I could, which was 11 cents. And then I went away. But half an hour later, I came back and some of them had been sold too. So I topped it back up to 10 offers to buy at 11. And then it worked. The price corridor shifted. I could I could buy them at 12. So I shifted all my offers to buy at 12. And went away. Came back half an hour later. Some of them had been sold too. Put more offers on. And, I, and it worked again. The price corridor shifted up again. 13 cents. The giddy height. And again the 14 cents. So it worked. Because lots of people were selling friend stickers, uh, and I never let them sell at ten cents. I always had l plenty of offers at the highest price I could, and it went up until I went to bed. And then the the fourteen, I think it was, offers I had on got sold to, and then immediately someone sells it at ten cents, and it gets traded, and the price corridors went right back down to ten to 11 cents again <laughs> back where we started boo curse you price corridors curse you today I'm going to concentrate on buying the friends sticker and see if I can get that price corridor up again to that giddy height of 14 cents and then maybe pull an all-nighter and see if I can stop prevent some git from trading it at 10 cents and dragging the price corridors right back down again we can hope eh now I'm putting all this effort in because I've made a big investment here. Well, that's not a big investment. It's a 34 coins investment at 10 cents a dime. But it won't take much of a price increase before that investment becomes very profitable indeed. Mind you, I've got so many of them, I'll probably still be selling the friend sticker when they eventually shut down the crossout service. That's it for this video. Tune in next video for more adventures in the crossout marketplace.